what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here we're gonna be talking about a few different horror topics in this video here today we're mostly going to be talking about scream 7 and these comments ski Ulrich made that pretty much confirmed what we already had a safe assumption about after the events that transpired in scream 5 we'll also be talking about hayden pantier and a role she has landed or a project she's actually already worked on and why this might mean she won't be participating in scream 7 but we're also going to talk about jurassic world and then faces of death 2 just to get into scream scream rant talked to skeet Ulrich recently and he doubled down basically on what we already knew related to scream scream 5 and scream 7 or scream six and scream seven i meant to say but his comment was still interesting nonetheless given what he stated he started off addressing how seven could have explored sam's killer instincts and then dropped the bombshell in the midst of all of that so after screen rent presented to him the idea of seven exploring sam's killer instincts he said exactly that i was hoping for exactly that and that's sort of the idea that was pitched to me a couple of years ago that it was a three movie arc with that in mind now i never saw any of the drafts of seven or anything like like that and i don't know i mean it's possible that it didn't include any of that as well but yeah that was my hope is that it was going to if it was going to mean anything that it directly impacted the plot so what's interesting is him mentioning that he had that pitched to him as a three movie arc as early as his involvement with five which was back in 2020 late 2019 so sam was supposed to have a trilogy just like sydney prescott and what's funny is i recall that the writers or someone involved creatively with the film saying screen five was intended to be a one-off now of course that's how it started out but once your movie is in the hands of the hollywood machine if it's profitable that's how we end up with things like scream six that's how we end up with things like scream seven who how and who knows where else we could go as long as spyglass wants to keep this ip alive i'm curious though who pitched this to Ulrich at the time of his involvement with five if it wasn't the writers he's not saying it wasn't them but i i don't know if it was them or not i don't think it was them now allegedly like i've stated in the past though just to talk about some scream 7 rumored plot details scream 7 would have revealed that billy was always dating christina and only started dating sydney once roman stepped in but we aren't going to get that i just thought it was interesting that scream 5 was intended to be a one-off but Ulrich had a trilogy mentioned to him in the past as early as his involvement with five so he had expectations as it pertains to sam because of what was told to him during the production of five maybe sometime before they even started filming but what do you guys think about that again it's very unfortunate we're not going to get that sam trilogy but it is what it is now we're going to shift into talking about hayden pantier who we know stars in the film franchise as kirby reed hayden pantier is back once again not scream related but she's back involved with a film from lionsgate named amber alert it's in post-production actually so the story will follow jack who is played by hayden who is eager to get to her first day at a new job and her driver shane tyler james williams it's a ride sharing type of story is just trying to earn a little extra at his side hustle an alert of a child abduction on their phones will change all of that when they discover they are behind a car that matches the description of the kidnappers unable to let a possible child trafficker escape they begin a pursuit that will put their own lives at risk now i'm happy that she's booked and i'm glad that scream 6 wasn't a one-off appearance for her but this does also build speculation in me that she's putting screen behind her and won't be part of the next entry whenever that one gets back on track not only that you have to consider what she just said as it pertains to melissa barrera that doesn't mean that she won't return but coming out and, and directly speaking in defense of her like that makes me believe she likely is not going to be a part of this creative overhaul that scream 7 is going through and and kirby reed won't factor into it in any capacity which is fine because like i stated all i really wanted maybe you guys wanted more i just wanted that one-off appearance from kirby to show that she was alive she's doing well and we got that with scream six she can go off into the sunset now for all i care but what do you guys think about that are you disappointed that kirby reed likely couldn't be back do you think this means she won't be back now again this project is in post-production but i just tend to think that with her recent comments and then this report there's a lot of things that she's probably already working on that are going to fill her schedule up and she could be free by the time scream 7 wants to go into production but she could not be we'll see so we're going to jump into jurassic world so jurassic outpost reported this they said hold on to your butts because the news keeps roaring in courtesy of real news hawaii we have learned that the upcoming gareth edwards 
directed Jurassic World movie is eyeing Hawaii for one of its filming locations. Rumors are circulating that production will head out to Kauai Island as soon as next month and have already booked locations and equipment for this outing. It's unclear if this is for location scouting, set building, or even early filming before principal photography starts in June. Hmm. Why would... If this is supposed to be starting a new era, right? So why would we possibly need to return to these engine islands when Fallen Kingdom set up a chance to explore how damaging it is for humans and dinos to coexist? The return for the islands could be a minor aspect of the story, but it's also possible that the islands could be home to where most of the story unfolds. Could be used for flashback sequences even. We'll just have to wait and see. Gareth Edwards also recently said this about directing the upcoming Jurassic movie to uh, Collider. He said, I tried my damnedest to contact my mom, tell her before I got on the internet, and I did the same with my sister. I woke my sister up to tell her. I left a message for my dad, but because of the time difference, he's asleep, so hopefully he won't look on the internet when he wakes up. I was about to take a break, and I started writing my next idea for a film, and this is the only movie that would make me drop everything like a stone and dive right in. I love Jurassic Park. I think the first movie is a cinematic masterpiece, which it is. So this opportunity is like a dream to me, and to work with Frank Marshall and Universal and David Coop, who's writing the script, I think they're all legends. So I'm just very excited. Now his excitement about this is only adding to my own excitement for him to be part of such an iconic franchise. Best of luck to him. And I still will say that this easily can be better than the than the last move the last several movies we've gotten as far as three through six are concerned. So last thing we're gonna talk about here is Faces of Death. Faces of Death is being reimagined and as previously reported by bloody disgusting the new plot revolves around a female moderator of a youtube like website whose job is to weed out offensive and violent content and who herself is recovering from a serious trauma that stumbles across a group that is recreating the murders from the original film but in this but in the story prime for digital age and of online misinformation, the question faced is, are the murders real or fake? Now, the murders are real. <laughs> now, that female moderator also is being played by Barbie Ferreira, and she's allegedly named Margot. That's allegedly her character's name. Now, the serious trauma that Margot is recovering from relates to her sister who died, and the footage of it went viral. So there's a recording of her sister dying, and that's a very viral video online. Decray Montgomery, who we know is also a part of the project, is starring as a man named Arthur, allegedly. And this film is a slasher from what I've heard, but it's not a whodunit. Josie Tota allegedly stars as a TikToker or an influencer, if you will, I guess. Since this isn't a whodunit, I'm just going to say that the rumored killer that we follow in this movie is Decray Montgomery's, Decray Montgomery's character named Arthur. Arthur apparently works at some sort of facility that allows him to gain access to private details related to his victims. That's all I'll say. And I realize, yes, this sounds nothing like the original, but that's why it's called a reimagining. And I've also heard that the film is quite amazing. Let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notification that you never miss a video. In the description, I'll have links to all of my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course. Let me know if there are any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.